Hello, and welcome back to the Chip Showcase. Today we've got the Cardassian Intel Flight Deck Cruiser. This is a C uh, Zen Store ship. I guess it's not called the C Store anymore. It is odd looking, but it's a badass little ship. And it's kind of little. And it still has that kind of same basic look as like a Keldon or a Galar class. But it also doesn't look that way. So, equipment wise, I think it's called the Gemor class. This is the CUV Skunk Ape. Named after the Skunk Ape. So we've got Spiral Rave Disruptor Beam, Spiral Wave Disruptor Dual Beam, well, they're different colors, the Dyson Proton Weapon, the Phaser Wide Angle Dual Heavy Beam Bank, and I, see I'm thinking about switching that with that, but I don't really care about those, those abilities from the set, so. And Spiral Wave Disruptor Beam Array again. To the rear, we've got the Omnidirectional Disruptor Beam, the Brain Transphasic Cluster Torpedo, which is a monster of a torpedo, and the Trilithium Enhanced Omnidirectional Phaser Beam. So we have the Advanced Fleet Covariant Shield Array, which I got from the Fleet Store, the Advanced Tachyon Deflector Array, the Advanced Fleet Compact at combat impulse engines and elite fleet plasma integrated warp core so for this demonstration we've got one hangar bay with the advanced Yukawa frigates which has the, the difference between the advanced Yukawa frigate and the standard is pretty big so it's worth the purchase and one hangar with elite Tholian Widow Fighters, which are one of my favorite hangar pets. But we'll go over that later. Console Tactical Vulnerability Locator. I believe that's part of this. Maybe not. Disruptor Damage. More Disruptor Damage and one for Phaser Damage. We've got the Pax Field Generator. Interphasic Instability and Timeline Stabilizer. I feel like I just buy those to fill spots. Hydrodynamic Compensator. Da, 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 da. One of those. One of those. And then this that came with the ship. The Cardassian Mobile Torpedo Platform. I don't know how good it is. But it's fun to have. Oh, wrong one. Stat wise, we've got 122,411 for hull, 19,759 for the shield, with a 913 regen rate. And mastery, we are still lacking in mastery points, so I need to fly this ship more, which we will. The calm before the storm, I've heard that's a great trait to have, and I want it. You gain one calm stack every two seconds, and at ten stacks you gain storm, which is a 33% firing cycle haste for energy weapons, which is huge. I want it. I want it. Muffin, I want it. Muffin is my cat. She's looking at me like I'm a crazy person for talking to myself. So, let us go fight someone. Alright. We got another Vaudoir Deep Space Encounter. Because they're good. They're challenging. So, what we're going to do... I'm going to cloak. Because this ship can cloak. And then we're going to... Try to go past this guy and then launch this transphasic torpedo at him. And see what it does. Because it is a beast of a torpedo. It separates into ten little tricobalt mines. And then... 
I don't know if they're triclovon or not. Huh? Not transphasic. Target this guy if they go over there. I believe my hangar pets are set to auto. I mean, they're there now, so. Come on, mines, come with me. The torpedo will chase the next enemy. The mines, I think, are lost to us. Warning. See, there goes that torpedo. Like, oh, you son of a bitch. That's great. Follow. Go get him. Go get him. I'm not going to shoot that guy. Oh, would you slow down so these mines can hit you? Jesus. Kill that guy. All eight of you. Oh, I don't know if they can do it. I might need my assistance. Oh, they're whittling him down. I got him.
that's a good thing about hunters, that gives the enemy something else to shoot at other than you. Shall remember you. Got a big neck monkey. You goofball. Iconian pawn. Anyway. That's the Cardassian Intel Flight Deck Carrier. We'll see it again in a couple videos. But for now, TTFN.